Hey folks, Grumpy Vlogger and Judy. I don't want to be I don't think you're going to be seen. I don't know if this sees you or not. But you look fine. Okay. I now have in my possessions uh, the uh, the Tiny Hawk or the, the FPV racing drone that is provided by Rick Halbert. He went ahead and sent it to me, so I'll be able to at least show the boxes up in my hand. So not just the pictures, and it does look sharp. Of course, you know Judy being a girl, and you guys understand that. That's why you know I like girls. No. I don't like boys, sir. Uh, she's a woman, not a girl. So just, but she's young at heart. Anyway, being the typical female, she looks at that and she says, Is that all the bigger it is? <laughs> Referring to the drone, may I correct that, okay? She was talking about the tiny whoop. Uh, the, the, you know. <laughs> Let, <laughs> Let me verify she was referring to the tiny whoop. The what? The drone is called a tiny whoop. The, the she. <laughs> okay. I have stepped into a deep and I keep sinking, so I'll just quit moving my legs and say if you quit moving around, you won't sink as deep in the quicksand. As you can hear, Judy's got a bad cough. Her cough has never completely gone away. She now has a sore throat, which I suspect. I'll tell you this little story as a side note. Uh, I don't know, about 25 years ago, I guess. Maybe even, no, it's probably further than that. It's probably closer to 30 years ago. Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah, closer to 30 years ago. So, yeah, I don't know anything about, you know, I was never the doctor mom type. I was the guy. Well, she got sick. It was New Year's Eve. And we left because she wasn't feeling good, and we didn't like the company we were with that particular time. It was some of the family. And it wasn't that we don't like or love our family. It was just that at that particular party, it was, you know. Anyway, so we came home early, so we're sitting there watching Dick Clark's uh, Rock and New Year's Eve on TV, and she's got a terrible sore throat. She's just feeling terrible. So... She asked me to look at her throat, and I looked in there, and I said, yeah, you got some white spots. I said, I think probably related to some of the stuff we ate, it's like sort of like throat ulcers or something. And I said, you know, that's what it is. Well, she continued to get sick, and then it got to where she couldn't hardly swallow or anything. And so I took her to the doctor, and he looked at her and said, oh, my God, this is one of the worst cases of strep throat I've seen in a long time. So now, when I say she's got white spots, she says, we need to go see the doctor. Because she does not trust my diagnosis, and justifiably so. Turned out it wasn't throat ulcers. Of course, we're going to the same doctor. Well, we're going to his his physician. His, uh, she a nurse practitioner or physician assistant? I think, I think she's a PA, but I'm not sure. She might be both. But, uh, anyways... So, we're going to see her today. We've been to her before and like her a lot. So, Judy's just not been feeling well and she's just not getting any better. Uh, we have not heard anything back on her test. I have an idea that whatever it was, it was a, you know, it's either a screw up or somebody's dropped the ball really big. So, I'll call them back again if I have time today. But today we're headed up to Tulsa because. We got her into for a 1.30 appointment today, which is kind of early for us, but that means early up and early back. Hopefully. With luck, yeah. Unless they decide to run a bunch of tests or stuff. So, anyway, so we're on our way to, to Broken Arrow, Oklahoma to see uh, the doctor. You guys will probably see this 
I've got to finish up the series that I'm doing on getting her birthday present, which that's already happened. You guys know that. And she's very happy with it. Matter of fact, she's got she's packing it in her purse right now. Uh, this next right at today's payday for us, so probably this evening. I'll it's a I mean. Yeah. Tomorrow's Saturday. We get paid on uh, today's yes. payday. Huh? This is Friday. Friday? Yeah. I didn't Yeah. No, it's it Friday. Late. That's not, I don't know. Yeah, but anyways, uh, so I have found, and she she really liked. That's what, she has this big purse that she that I got for you. It was for your birthday or Christmas last a year ago. I don't know. Anyways, I got it for her. It's one she picked out. And she wanted. She likes it, and it really is functional for us. But she wants something that's you know still functional, but it has a place for her her uh, 380 auto and for what I paid for that purse I can get one a little bit cheaper but it's still just as nice and it's designed for the for a pistol to go in it even comes with a velcro attached holster that you can take out and put on your you know carry in with you but you know you got it you got it in your purse why do you need to but so she's a pistol packing mama now which means I really need to behave I may be talking about a subject for 15 minutes. You know how I am. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I am an expert at absolutely nothing. Therefore, I can talk about absolutely nothing with high proficiency of knowledge. You know, when you're an expert of nothing, you can talk about nothing all day long. And never get a fact wrong. That's me, the expert of nothing. <laughs> That's why my campaign uh, button says, I stand for nothing, because see, I know a lot about nothing. Just a little bit about something. I'm going to shut this off now. You know what I say to, to everybody. Yeah, I'm going to slow it down because you guys just caught me speeding. Cause speed limit sign says 60. This has a GPS and speed tracking. So, Anyways, you know what I say. Be nice to each other. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. And I'm out of here. Bye-bye for now. Hey, folks. I know you could have watched other videos, and I want to thank you for watching mine. So, always be nice to each other, and don't forget. Okay? Alright, you have a good one. I'm out of here. Bye-bye for now.